Topsy and Tim and the Babysitter. Topsy and Tim's mummy and dad were getting ready to go to a party. It was a party for grown-ups, so Topsy and Tim were not invited. It's not fair, said Tim. You wouldn't enjoy a grown-ups party, said Dad. Besides, Roly-Poly would be lonely without you. Roly-Poly was Topsy and Tim's puppy. Mummy's friend Linda was coming to babysit. We don't need a babysitter, said Topsy. We're not babies. If you're going to be naughty, said Mummy, Dad and I will not be able to go to the party. Topsy and Tim felt a bit ashamed of themselves. Mummy and Dad didn't often go to parties. Topsy and Tim had been to lots. They helped make sandwiches for Linda's supper and they promised to put themselves to bed at seven. When Linda arrived, Topsy and Tim tried to look cheerful. They waved goodbye to Mummy and Dad and called, Enjoy yourselves! Mummy and Dad called back, Be good! What would you like to do until bedtime? asked Linda. Please maybe watch telly, said Tim. It depends, said Linda. Luckily there was a funny cartoon film on, so they watched it together. When it was over, Linda switched the telly off. Sometimes Mummy lets us watch until bedtime, grumbled Topsy. Roly-Poly is tired of television, said Linda. He wants to play ball in the garden. Topsy and Tim thought that was a good idea. They found their bounciest ball and Linda taught them to play piggy in the middle. They all took turns to be piggy and Roly-Poly joined in too. It wasn't long before the ball bounced right over the fence into the next door garden. Linda leaned over the fence. She could see the next door neighbour in her kitchen. Yoo-hoo, Mrs Rupert, she called. Please may Topsy and Tim have their ball back. Kind Mrs Rupert came and found the ball and threw it back to them. Topsy and Tim thanked her. Mrs Rupert and Linda began to chat over the garden fence. While they were talking, Topsy and Tim heard the church clock strike seven. That's our bedtime, whispered Topsy. Let's give Linda a surprise. They went quietly indoors and upstairs. They washed themselves, cleaned their teeth and got into their pyjamas. And then they hid. Linda came indoors to look for them. Roly-Poly led her upstairs. She guessed that they had put themselves to bed, but when she looked, their beds were empty. Linda was puzzled. Then she said in a loud voice, If Topsy and Tim are not in bed by the time I've counted to five, no bedtime story. One, two, three, four. Before she could say five, Topsy and Tim burst out from their hiding place behind the bedroom door. We want a bedtime story, they shouted as they jumped into their bunk beds. Linda sat beside them and read their favourite story. By the time she had finished, Topsy and Tim were almost asleep. She tucked them in and went quietly downstairs to wait for Mummy and Dad. When Mummy and Dad came home, they tiptoed into Topsy and Tim's bedroom. Topsy opened one eye. Did you have a nice time? she asked. Lovely, said Mummy. So did we, said Topsy, and went back to sleep. Thank you.